And welcome back to KLDR with your hosts, Marl and Karen. of kale to the status of superfood. We feel the need to make some kaleifications about what kale can and cannot do. Well, everyone, it's Valentine's Day, and you know what that means. You have to prove to your partner that you know exactly what they like. Well, sometimes, Karen, just knowing what your partner likes ain't gonna cut it. You gotta try something new. You gotta mix it up, spice it up. For instance, Carl and I, we love kale. We love it. But, you know, we get sick of it. Which, you know, you think would be impossible because we both love kale so much! So much. So much. But you know, like, sometimes we just want to try other dark, leafy green vegetables. So what do you do when kale gets stale? Well, Carl, there are a number of ways to answer this question. Cauliflower, for instance, is H-O-T right now, like, almost as hot as kale and it is almost impossible to mess up. Yeah, you can pair cauliflower with almost any dish. Pizza. Fish. Oysters. Milk and cookies. No, but can, Carl, but we talked can, about this. But no. you can make the no, cauliflower into milk. No, you can't. And you can just, no. Oh my God, no. Fine. So Karen, what happens if I've tried cauliflower and I'm still sick of kale? Is there anything else I can do? Of course there is, Carl. But uh, I must say, um, our next vegetable it's is getting not, hot in here. <laughs> it's not. It's it's a it's a for the more uh, adventurous uh, person, shall we say? Oh, we shall. <laughs> our next vegetable, Brussels sprouts, isn't for the inexperienced cook or the. Picky eater. <laughs> oh, yes. Brussels sprouts, when done properly, uh, can be mind blowingly good. Just. But when cooked poorly, they can ruin dishes. And no one will ever trust your ability to cook vegetables ever again. <sighs> so, you know, take your time, go look up some recipes, you know, ask some people for advice, and, uh, uh if you get, uh, if you got, uh, really lost, uh, you know, go on the internet and uh, look up some uh, videos of uh, people doing it. And with that great tip, let's move on to the next segment of our show, where we get out some viewer mail sent in by viewers like you. Let's take a hand and reach into our bag of viewer mail. Wonder what we'll find. This one comes from Maggie L. from Springfield, Illinois. And it reads, Dear Carl and Karen, I've been going out with a guy that I really like, and I want to impress him this Valentine's Day. I want to surprise him with something that's as special as he is. Thanks, Carl and Karen. Well, Maggie, Carl and I thought about your letter for a very long time, about five minutes, and, uh, you know, we remembered the vegetable that brought us together. It's just so frustrating, Mom. I mean, like, what kind of farmer's market doesn't carry Swiss chard? I mean, it's just like, you go into a farmer's market and, like, there should just be rainbow stalks of it everywhere. It's outrageous. No, I will not come down. This is why I never come home for Christmas, Mom, because this family doesn't respect my love of vegetables. Yes, I love you, too. Hey, excuse me. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Like, I actually have some chard up in my fridge, like upstairs. I'd be happy to give it to you because, you know, like, no one, no one should ever be denied chard. And that, Maggie, 
Maggie is when I knew I was in love with Carl. Because you see, chard just has this magical quality to it. Not everybody likes it, but if you can find someone who can stand its bitter, acerbic flavor and chewy texture, you have found yourself a keeper. So Maggie, what we want you to do right now is want you to go out and make the best damn chard salad. And here's what you're gonna put on it. Lemon, Parmesan, black pepper, olive oil. And a little bit of sea salt. Just a little bit. A little just, bit. Just, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Yeah, yeah. 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 And if he doesn't like it, you can kick his ass to the curb. Because if you don't like chard... You are probably not a person. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for Kale the Air. Join us next week when we teach you how to make banana oatmeal with kale. It is literally just a Nothing. steamed bowl of kale that has been cultured to look like oatmeal Nothing and bananas. But kale. It Nothing is but so kale. disgusting. Gross, awful. Guys, awful. Carl's poop is green. My poop is still green. It is so disgusting. If you know a doctor. We are getting a divorce. Who specializes in I cannot what? stand the sight of his poop. Oh. Sorry, bud. Just kidding. Thank you for watching Hail the Air.